Hello and welcome to another budget and leg it video now today we are showing a tool a new tool from Welsh Works this is the 3400 WW oh you do it this way look you can actually see it's called the strut mate now I've done uh, reviews from these guys before I've done the hub uh, mate as well which you'll see uh, in the last part of the video and I mentioned on that that the 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 bolts or the the that they supplied could do with being the wing nuts they listened, they changed it, changed it on all the range. So it's fantastic that a tool company actually listens to people, you know, and it's made so much easier now to screw these on and off rather than using the Allen key. It's a simple thing, but it's, it's just made life so much easier. Now, what I'm going to do with this, because I don't really have to change the, the hub or the strut on this, I just want to kind of show you what this bad boy is designed for. Now, again, when you're on your own like me, it's annoying to do even the simplest things like trying to put a new strut up because you have to hold it, try and put your hand around, do the old big reach around on the top and try and screw one of the bolts in. Now, if you've ever done this, you would know just how difficult it can be because when you put it on the lift, it's either too high, you always need it low and it's just really, really annoying. You try and put it back in the, in the hub and jack it up, but it never really lines up and you have to get your hand in. It's just a nightmare. So they've actually designed this to make your life so much easier. So we're gonna basically show you how it works. Now you do need a transmission jack for this, but what I also suggested to them is uh, to make a mount for the trolley jack, just a normal trolley jack, because most people aren't gonna have transmission jacks. This is something you can actually you know, buy, but if you don't have a transmission jack, it's very, very difficult and a lift. So they're actually making like an adapter so you can actually put it on your jack, which is gonna be fantastic because most people have a jack and then you can bolt this bad boy to it and then you're fine, sorted. So what we're gonna do is, oh, there's actually a plate here as well. You can just see under here. There's actually a plate on top depending on the size of your strut. But like I said, what I'm going to do is just kind of quickly show you it going on and then you're going to get the idea. And then in the next part of the video, we're going to see what else this bad boy can do. Now, when I was speaking to the tool guy and everything, um, they've obviously seen this and they've sold a few. And one person, which I, I need to say this, thinks it's to compress the strut. I must admit, when I first kind of saw it, that's what I thought too but it isn't. You do not want to compress the strut with this. This is not designed for it. It will slip out and you're going to do some serious, serious damage. So this is just designed to hold the strut so you can get the nut and bolts in at the top or whatever you happen to be doing to make it easier for you. That's all it's designed for. So you can see Staven. Staven is with us. So what we do, we put on transmission jack, we screw our things in there we go and then obviously get whichever cup you need now obviously I've got it too high I'm just showing you this view with the camera because it's easier to kind of have the car lifted up so you can actually see what I'm doing so let's imagine we just uh, we put a new shock in or a new spring or a new hub We're actually struggling to see that so let me get some light now look so much easier to see so we'll just imagine we just change the shock change the spring change the hub whatever we just happen to change and we need to get it back in because the three bolts or two bolts however it's bolted up with one bolt it, it's just awkward you're trying to reach around it's just so so awkward so this comes underneath and like i said it's not designed there we go we'll just slot it in there now that's it it's as simple as that it's designed to hold the strut in place now, once you've got it in place like that, you can move it so you, you get it, you know, so all the bolts line up and everything. And then that's it. You walk away, you go to the top of the vehicle, you bolt it in, and that's it. It really is as simple as that. Very, very easy, very quick. What more do you want? And then when you're finished, just remove your transmission jack, slide it down. And like I said, you can see the extra plate that's on there depending on how thick your strut is you know it's designed for for different ones just two allen keys in there and that's it sorted and it's made in great britain which is even better like i said it's one of them things if you've ever tried to to do this on your own 
it's just hassle. No matter how you do it, it's just hassle. Because every time you get it straight, it always seems to move. Or you, you put it back into the hub and you jack it up and it's not in the right place. You can't move it. It's just a nightmare. It makes life so much simpler, especially when you're on your own. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see what else it can do. Now, it is only designed for what I've showed you. It's not designed to compress the string. Uh, the string, the spring. So bear that in mind because I know people think it will and it's just not designed to do that. You're going to cause damage to yourself or the car. So don't do it. Let's see what else it can do. Right, so like I said in the first part of the video, what I'm about to use this for now is not really what it's designed for, but it should work. I always like to kind of see what, other, see what the tools can do other than what they actually say they can do. Now, you do have to be extremely careful. This is not, and I repeat, this is not for compressing the spring. I spoke to the tool guy, like I said before, and I know people think that's what it's for. It isn't. If you want to compress the spring, you want to use this fellow, which is the uh, WW3200. We're going to show this also because after I use this, I'm going to use this, I'm going to lift up the suspension level, then I'm going to tighten the wishbone down. But the problem I have found with this sometimes is because it's right here, the bottom of the legs and the actual transmission jack tends to get in the way. So what I'm hoping is with this, because I can essentially put it at the side, either side, I'm hoping I can kind of get the transmission jack out of the way a little bit. And all I'm doing with this, I'm not compressing the spring, I'm just supporting it. So I'm just stopping it from dropping down, making it harder for me to get the ball joint in the wishbone. And I have a feeling it's going to work absolutely lovely for that. So it's amazing what you can actually use tools for. This is designed again when you're on your own because when you work like me you're on your own you need these little things because it just makes your life so much easier so this is what these are for to make your life so much easier so if you buy one of these and there's got wing nuts in thank me sorted um so yeah what i'm going to do is i'm just going to set this up here i think or the other side i'm not sure which yet i think maybe this side Screw in the wing nuts. Doo -doo. Now, as you can see, that is off to one side. So just pan the camera down. And it's actually completely out of the way because normally it would be right in here. And it's actually out my way now. Now you can see where I've got it. I've got it under the spring where it should be. And all I'm doing is I'm just stopping the whole thing kind of moving down and putting a bit more pressure down on here. They don't move a lot, they only move a few inches, but that few inches, when you're on your own doing this type of stuff, believe me, you don't need more than a few inches to make your life awkward. Now is just get 80 mil spanner, 80 mil socket. I've already taken the ball joint bolt off. If I actually get that on where it should be. There we go. As you can see, how easy is that now? Transmission jack is not in the way. I'm still going to use that other one, um, but when I use the other one, I'm going to be uh, actually tightening these bolts, so it's just going to be easier. And of course, the sump's in the way. Get a wobbly bar. Wobbly bar, let's see if we can get this now. Yes, we can. Lovely. So my transmission jack's on here. It's tight. I'm not putting, I'm putting a little bit of pressure on it, but not a lot. I mean, hardly any to be fair. Now, hopefully this can just roll out. I don't know if you saw that, but that didn't drop a millimetre. And you can see why we're changing this. I did another video on how to check your suspension with no special tools. And you can see that was the result. 
No, I'm really, really happy with that. That hasn't moved. It's not actually swinging because sometimes it swings out, which is really annoying as well. It just makes it more awkward for you to change the wishbone. So not only can it help you change the shock, or not change the shock, but support the shock as you're bolting it in, it can also help you do the wishbone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bang this in. Right, so I said I'd quickly show you putting in the wishbone. Some cars drop more than others. Some of them are nightmares, some of them are easy, it just depends. But I still think regardless, this is just going to make everyone's life so much easier. So we're just going to get that already. I mean, look at that already. I mean, <laughs> that wishbone's in. That, that wishbone is in. I've just got to line up the back hole, but wow, how easy was that? The way I'm going to line up the back hole is I've got a long tapered drift and we just need to slightly persuade that over a tiny bit, a tiny bit more. There we go. and sorted people, sorted. Right, see if there's any eagle-eyed viewer that has noticed something different from a couple of seconds ago. I'm not gonna give it away, but there is. I've lost my bolt to go in here. Don't worry, I got it. Now, like I said, how easy was that? I just need to, there we go. That's now in. <laughs> well, I say it's in. There we go. Sorted. Now, absolutely lovely. So I can now release all this. And you see how much that came down. That came down a few inches. Don't need this now. So I'm going to use the hub mate and I'm going to lift this up level and then I'm going to tighten these two bolts because that means then that our bushings are basically, when the car is down and level, if we were to tighten them now, it would twist our bushings up and it would just basically put more pressure on the bushings and they'd go quicker. So we do it that way, they'll last longer. And it's the proper way to do it. Right, as you can see, um, I know it didn't really look like it came down a lot, but you've got to remember the wishbone is there supporting it. Then back two bushings are going to stop the whole thing from going down. If the wishbone wasn't there, it would have dropped a lot further, which means I would have had to put more pressure on the wishbone. And when you, when you put the wishbone at an angle, the back two bushings don't like to go in. So you tend trying to move the hub out the way and everything, and it's just awkward. Then you have to try and you know get the ball joint in, and it's just really, really awkward. Uh, this, as you can see, when I supported it, it stopped it going down that few inches and it just made the wishbone just slide in so much easier you could see I mean I was amazed too just went in like batter so there we go really really simple and uh, it works quite well doing that as well as you can see I had issues with the uh, brake pad but we're okay so all I'm going to do now is very very slowly and you have to allow the spring to actually compress don't just pump it up because you will be lifting it off the lift or off your jack so very, very slowly, give the time for the actual shock to, com to actually compress. And then you can very, very slowly just raise it up until your, until your wishbone is at the right level. And then we just need to bang them in with the gun. And uh, all is good. 
and that is very, very close now. So all I'm going to do, zip them in with the gun, and that's it. So that's how easy it is. But like I said, you know, you can use this for a couple of other things. Just do not try and compress the spring with this because you will do damage to you or the car or something. It's not designed for that. So that's it, people. I'll leave all the links in the description. Um, but obviously, you can get this from your local supplier who actually deals with Welch Workzog. But I'll leave everything in the description. And then you can... Uh, Get this bad boy and add it to your collection. So look, hope it helps. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, links up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sorted. Made in Great Britain. Even better.